Once upon a time, I got sick. the only one still sick. I asked my mommy, who wasn't a very good one. I'm sorry, dear, mommy said. Temperature just won't go down. You are the weak one in the family. Is it serious? No, mommy answered. You're probably fine. It's been over a week, artist, Daddy said. Mommy and Daddy rushed me to the hospital. <sighs> when did her appendix burst? I, we, we thought she had the flu. Same as Daddy and me. We'll have to operate. The old nurse began to wheel me away. Mommy, don't leave me! Appendicitis is very dangerous, nurse said. Little Maida knows nothing about what is going to happen, so there is nothing to worry about. People die in hospitals. Surgery is beginning now. As doctor put on his gloves, I tried to be brave. There, there, he said. I don't like little girls that cry. That made me cry even harder. Count backward from ten, nine, eight. My eyes began to flutter. I lay slumbered. I felt a searing hot pain spread across my tummy. In the waiting room, Mommy began to panic. Through the open door, she saw me sitting on the operating table, wild-eyed. My abdomen cut open was covered with hemostatic forceps. I didn't know it, but I was highly allergic to the medicine the doctor used to knock me out. The next evening, doctor explained. If they don't act quickly, he said, I will die from gangrene of the intestine. We have to remove each organ one by one and wash the erupted appendix from the intestines, kidney, colon. God is punishing us because you didn't want another child. She may never have children if she survives. waited until I was fast asleep. Mommy and Daddy said goodbye before they were ushered out of the room. And then they wait. Nurse reported at the top of the hour, every hour for the next two days.
never have children if she survives. She's too young for us to know if we put her ovaries back in the right position. My daddy didn't want anyone to know this because sterile girls, he reckoned, were promiscuous girls. He didn't want to encourage bad behavior. He's in a fragile state, doctor said. I recommend not visiting too often. Daddy was scared of the hospital. Finally, it was time to go home. It's time to go. But I feel so tired. Get out of that bed right now or I spank you. You have no idea how much you cost us. Mommy did not know how to comfort me. She could only talk about how I might die. I tried to tell her I love you, but that only made her sad. 